but we wanted to show you a little innovation from right here uh, from our Hong Kong team. Since the uh, Kinect is hooked up to PC, I can program it with the SDK. And here it recognizes my gesture. If I raise my left hand, you see this minority report sort of control right here, this circle. If I push forward, I get this control. If, if you look at the webcam at the uh, lower right corner of the screen, you can tell the gun is actually pointing down. Ooh. Up to the left? Okay. A little higher, I guess. Matt, are you ready? No. No? Okay. <laughs> good, good. So with my right hand, you see this transparent red button here? I can push and I'll fire. Can we have a countdown? Three, two, one. <laughs> when I swipe up, since I'm on a touch device, I can use an option called picture password. So I can use a gesture. I'll just circle my head, I'll point this guy's face, and I'll draw a line between the wheels. Voila, I'm locked in. Picture password. This is Windows 8. You can see there are live tiles, so information can bubble up from within the app, so I can instantly see uh, updates from individual application. And in the start screen, I can pin different playlists, media, people, contact, web links, so I can customize my own start screen. I can use my hand to pan left and right. I can use my mouse pointer and slide it to the side of the screen, and I can pan my start screen like that just like that, so keyboard and mouse and touch. So if I wanna call out some system commands, we call charms. You can use your left hand and swipe inwards from the edge. You can see five different system charms. I can pinch and zoom out. Instead of scaling the tiles individually, I'm actually jumping one layer up of this the hierarchy because Metro apps are the heart of Windows 8. I'll show you what I mean by Metro apps. In here, I click on a mail app that comes with the consumer preview, and all you can see is content. There's no menu bar or no borders to distract me from the information that I care the most. So in here, I see my mailbox, but if I want to call out the options that are specifically for this app, I can either swipe down from the top or swipe up from the bottom like that and I get options within, in this case, the mail app. I can change the folder, I can change my email account, but when I'm done, the menu options go out of the way so I can focus on what I do. Another app that I wanna show you is the photo app. Here I can look at my picture library, my SkyDrive, or my Facebook album. Click on Facebook, I get a, a large view of all the album, semantic zoom out of this current menu and get an overview of all my albums. Click on an album, I can look at the photo, or I can semantic zoom to get an, uh, a better view. Some holiday photo tag on my local account. Enter. Instantly, all the holiday photos are being filtered out within my photo app. But that's not it. If you look at the uh, right-hand side, you can see I can send the same keyword to the mail app so that I send the holiday keyword to search on mail search on people, or I can send to Internet Explorer so I can call this query on my search engine. If I go back to the Photos app, and if I select a few photos, three of them, I swipe in and I click the Share Charm. Here, I see all the applications that have share contracts enabled for me to share photos. In this case, the email app, I click on Mail. Instantly, without jumping out of the photo app, all the photos are attached to an email body, I can just type in an address and send that to my friend. I showed you the photo app that was connecting to social networks, uh, email app connected to other cloud services like Hotmail. If I launch a photo call called ImageFX, this uh, is a photo editing app in Metro UI. But if I go to the file picker, instead of choosing the files from my local document and folders, I can actually choose it from the camera, the photo app, or in this case, the SkyDrive app. The exact same experience of SkyDrive app is launching within a Metro app application. So I can just click on one of my album, click on that, open. Once again, I do not need to use my local hard drive at all. All I need to do is use the integration between SkyDrive and my device to get whatever files that I need. 
if I go to the PC settings, there's something called sync your settings. In here, because I'm logged in with my live ID, all my settings, my keyboard settings, my language settings, my mouse preferences, even the settings to disable that clicking sound on my virtual keyboard is all synced to the sky. So if I have different devices or if I'm logging into, let's say, Matt's computer, once I log in with my live ID, I get all the documents from SkyDrive. I get all the settings from my SkyDrive. So it's my Windows anywhere I go. The next thing I want to talk about is Internet Explorer. I know everybody web browses. So IE10 is redesigned for the Metro UI. Just like all the other Metro apps, this is window, uh, this is borderless. There's no options that is getting in your way. It's all about web content. I really like this feature because sometimes when you're in search engine, you look for something, oh, it's wrong, you swipe back. Oh, I want to go forward. You can easily just swipe back and forth between pages. If I want to call out options, I swipe down from the top, I get different tabs, I click on the one of the tabs that I'm interested. Hey, there's a piece of text that I want to share with my friend. I can highlight that. I can call up the search charm. In this case, I want to share this once again through email. Instantly, the piece of text is copied to the email body. I can type in the address, share it with my friend, and then go back to where whatever I was doing right away. So here it is, the Windows Store. It's built right in to Windows, so you can quickly just launch it. And here you can see you can browse apps by All Star, Top Paid, Top Free, new releases, so on and so forth. I've been showing you the Metro UI, but yes, there is a desktop mode within Windows 8. And it is optimized in, in this version of desktop, and also it is touch-friendly and keyboard mouse uh, friendly. On the Metro UI, to tell you why this is perfect for play. Remember all the Metro style apps that I was launching? If I want to quickly scroll through all of them, I can use my left hand and swipe in, inwards, to rotate through them, one at a time. But if I want to jump to a specific app, I can scroll in and out and I get a list of all the apps that are running right now. So I can pick, I can go that SkyDrive. But what if I want to multitask? I want to do two things at once. For example, if I want to launch the messaging app, okay, and I want to, let's say, um, look at my calendar at the same time. Sorry, calendar at the same time, okay. If I want to do two things at the same time, I can simply drag and drop. This is what we call snap view. I can snap an app on the side, and I can keep the other app running in 4 by 3 aspect ratio. If I want to enlarge, let's say, my messenger, I can just swipe the border over, and the messenger app occupies the, the larger area, and I have the calendar automatically scale down to a small snap view. I can move them around, reorder them, or I can enjoy the same swiping and rotating of the app using my swipe gesture on the left. Here I go back to the desktop mode and I launch my uh, task manager. And you can see the CPU usage is all in 0%. This is because Windows has been redesigned on something called Windows Runtime or WinRT. The WinRT framework allows Metro apps to suspend once they're in the background. And it gets rehydrated when we call it in the foreground. So all the app states are stored in the memory, so it doesn't take any CPU cycle at all. <laughs> so his wife's birthday is actually tomorrow, and he completely forgot. There's this great place called the ABC Shop. You should download the application to your Windows phone. Right. Give it a try. Shop. Behind the glass, there's actually a Kinect connect device. And with a Kinect device, it's actually tracking my head. It's attracting my attention. And right there, it says, take a picture of the QR code. So in the phone application, there's actually a button. If I can point my phone to the QR code, and voila, the screen says, spin your phone. Phone. So if I spin my phone using the accelerometer of the phone, pretty cool, huh? And here, it I says interactively. Multiple people can interactively browse this catalog. I can see individual items. I can sort. Jeans, maybe jeans, or maybe maybe some skirts. Pretty cool. So if I can place my phone on the surface, instantly I'm connected. 
You've got some recommendations, your wish, wish lists. I have your purchase history, knowing the uh, different items that you have purchased. I also have your customer relationship management record from CRM Online. Right. I can see you're a marketing manager with uh, Microsoft. I, I see this catalog here. I'm flipping through. I want to get something like that for my wife. Let's this see. one. Yeah. Yeah, this okay. One. Good. Can you recommend something for me? Yeah, we actually have some things in inventory. Uh, let me take a look at something that, similar that she may like. We have the skinny pont dress. Let me go ahead and drag that up to you there. Oh, I can see it on the screen, this blue dress. Nice. Let me click and see information about the dress. I actually like it, and I get 80% off. So I would drag that to well, my phone. I, I want to do that again. That was, that, was, that was cooler than that. Drag it to Ryan. And then it then shows, it shows up, up on the surface. Come hey, on. since I get 80% off, I might as well get her a new pair of jeans. And from the phone, you can see, once I drag an item to the phone, it's instantly shows up on my phone because everything is connected to, to the cloud. I have my app locked in, and then it re recognizes my location, and I'm dragging items to the phone, and it's showing up instantly. That's it. That's it? That's it. I think great. I'll check out right now. Oh, Matt? Great. Thank you. So now I give my phone to Matt, and... So go. right here, we have a scenario where we have tied up all the devices from our platform. We have the Surface 2.0, we have the Windows Phone, we have a Kinect for Windows, and we also have the uh, Windows PC, the Windows 8 Slate. And all of it is connected to the cloud, uh, to our Windows Azure, to create, in this case, a seamless experience for retail. But in fact, you can do all kinds of experience with not just retail, but for, for banking or whatever business you guys are focusing on.